Hi, welcome back to Guitar Discoveries. Glad you're here in my studio lounge. I'm Robert Cassard. Today I want to talk about the Stella, also sometimes called a Harmony Stella, but it's a Stella H929. This one's from 1958. These are fun little guitars. They were really designed as beginner guitars and sold by the thousands, I think, I think mostly through Sears Roebuck back in the day. Uh, so they were really, you know, learning guitars. My wife and I were given this one as a gift. We uh, helped a local crew of high school students prepare rock tunes to play in front of a live audience. It was a program called Rock Shop, and, and we just thought it was awesome that at the end of the program they gave us this guitar. Now, it wasn't really in playable condition. It was, I think they thought it was just kind of a novelty, and they wrote all over it, all their thanks, you, thank yous and everything else. But man, that even adds to the mojo, right? So here's this guitar that they were thinking was kind of nothing and it couldn't play at the time. I handed it to my luthier, Rylan White, and he got it all set up, dialed in, and man, this thing is sweet now. It's really fun. So I thought one way to really uh, let you hear what this guitar is all about, uh, and I gotta say, it, it plays well in a couple of different modes. One is just pure acoustic. The other is with a pickup in it uh, and just jamming on the blues. So maybe we'll do another video on that topic later, but right now I just wanted to focus on this as a little acoustic instrument. This thing is just made of solid birch. It's a very <laughs> unusual tone wood. I'm sure it was inexpensive at the time, but it has a certain loudness and a certain hollowness to it that I think is particularly bluesy and that's part of what makes it cool. It's great for old time music and that's what I'm gonna give you a sample of today. I love the fact that you know these fret markings were just painted on with a stencil. You can see kind of the the overspray and things like that. You can tell that this fretboard was actually stained. There are actually places where the stain has worn off and you can see the lighter wood color underneath. So on the one hand, it's kind of humorous. On, on the other hand, it's a really nice little little piece. Now, in terms of value, before I dig into that song, I just want to mention, these guitars are getting to be kind of hip, and the price is going up because of that. Uh, back in 2012, when I got this, I checked, and you know they were going for about $100. Now, you're going to be looking at probably at least two if not three to four hundred bucks for one that's in nice shape and playable and doesn't have a sprung neck and all of that so at any rate I think when you hear this you'll see why it has real mojo uh, I'm gonna do a, an old number from the ink, ink spots <laughs> Java Java loves me. Coffee and tea and the Java and me. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. I love Java, sweet and hot. Whoops, Mr. Moto, I'm a coffee pot. You shoot me the pot and I'll pour me a shot. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup Ooh, slip me a slug from that wonderful mug And I'll cover up that slug in a jug A sliced up onion and a raw one Draw That Java Java and it loves me. Coffee and tea and the Java and me. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. Boston bean, soft bean. I said the little, little bit of green bean. Cabbage and green, you know that I'm not keen about a Mr. Moto, I'm a coffee 
Got some mojo. Stella H929. This one is from the 50s. No pick guard, no fancy stuff. Solid birch. That's got a great vibe though. I hope you've enjoyed this guitar discovery. I hope you'll subscribe so you can come back for more. We like to talk about tips and tricks and instruments and accessories and all kinds of things. So I'd uh, love to share some more information with you. I'm Robert Cassard. <laughs>